the first thing we're going to do is take the mag out and make sure our gun is unloaded. If the safety is off, put the safety on. Pull your bolt back. And visually inspect the chamber. We're good to go. I'm going to push in on the recoil spring and slide the dust cover up. I'm going to push in on the recoil spring until it clears the receiver. Pull it straight out. Take my safety off. Pull my bolt carrier right out. Now I'm going to let the hammer up slowly. Once it's up, I'm going to take my needle nose vice grips and clamp it on the hammer. Once that's done, I'll reach in and wind the hammer legs onto the vice grips. So, I'm just going to let that be. Now I'm going to go inside and relieve the shepherd's hook on the trigger pin. Once it's out of the slot, I'm going to slide that right out. Now I can move the trigger forward and take the safety out. I'm going to rotate it vertically, slide it out. When that happens, we can take the shepherd's hook right out with it. The trigger is going to slide right out. And now we can push the trigger, the hammer pin out. That will allow us to slide the hammer straight to the back and up. And I'm going to very carefully undo the hammer spring. I'm going to take note of the position of the hammer spring as I take it off. And I'm going to put it onto our brand new hammer. Just like so. Now I'm going to remove the pistol grip. to take out our mag catch pin. I'm just going to get a block of steel. Set the gun on it. Have my punch, my hammer. Just going to center it. Get it started. I'm going to take a smaller punch and finish it up. Like that. I'm going to take our mag catch, set it aside, our pin, and we're going to keep the spring. Just like that. Now we're going to proceed to cut the trigger guard off. And we're going to use a uh, a Fordham to do that, or a Dremel tool, whatever you might have at home. So we're going to cut it right here, flush with the mag catch, and right here, flush with the back of the tray guard. Don't forget to put your safety glasses on when you do this. your fronts through. I'm just going to go to the back. Flip 
flip it over and get halfway on this side. Like that. I'm going to use the side of my wheel to try to clean it up a little bit. Right there. I'll do the same with the front of the mag catch. Once that's clean, I'm going to use uh, some bluing, or you can use paint at home. Just touch it up, make it look nice so it doesn't rust. Just like that. You can also use a hand file if you have that uh, to touch it up. I think we did a good enough job where we don't have to do that. First thing I'm going to do is reinstall our spring. Now we wanted to make sure we paid attention on how the spring was on the hammer. Um, basically what you want to have is the flat of the hammer and the legs going up. So we're just going to slide it in just like that. Take my vice grips and clamp back on the hammer. And I'm very carefully going to wind the spring until it gets tension and bring it around and hook it on the vice grips like that. Now I'm going to take the hammer, drop it in from the back, and slide it forward. Once I'm lined up with the actual hammer pin hole, I'm just going to slide my pin straight on through, just like that. Alright, once I've did that, I'm going to take my new replacement trigger. I'm just going to drop it right in. I'm not going to pin it yet. I'm just going to drop it in. Just like that. It's in there free. Now I'll take my shepherd's hook and I'm going to slide this forward on the inside into the slot on the hammer pin. Once I get it there, I'm going to hold it in place. I'm going to take my safety, and that's going to slide right in vertically. It's going to slide in the circle of the shepherd's hook, and straight through to the other side. Once it snaps into place, it's going to rotate that down. Then I'm going to take my trigger pin, and I'm just going to slide the shepherd's hook up to allow for the pin to slide underneath it into the trigger group, straight through the other side. Now you want to make sure that your, your shepherd hook falls into the groove and the trigger pin. So it's good. Everything's in place. Now I'm going to let down the trigger legs by letting go with my vice grips. I want to make sure that the legs on the hammer spring fall into the back of the trigger properly. Once I do that, I'm going to cock the hammer, like so. Now we're ready to put on our new trigger guard. So now we're going to install our new oversized trigger guard. All right. I'm just going to take the new oversized trigger guard, slide it on our old mag catch housing, just line up the holes for right now, just to make everything, make sure everything's lined up. I'm going to take the new replacement pin, the mag catch, and the mag catch spring. Now the mag catch has two different length legs on it. So the shorter leg is going to go downward, facing where your mag is going to latch into it. I'm going to take our replacement pin and I'm just going to use that for right now as a slave pin. Take my vice grips, 
and I'm going to slide this on and I'm going to compress that spring. Be able to slide Just like so, right out, Just like that. This is going to drop right into our mag catch housing. And we're just going to slide our new pin right through and out to the other side. You may have to give it a little tap get it through. Once the pin's in place, we're going to let go of our pliers and you're going to take your C-clip and you're just going to slide it right in place. Just like that, and that's going to retain everything in one place. Now we're ready to put our pistol grip back on. And basically, the pistol grip screw is going to slide through the new trigger guard. So, basically, the pistol grip screw is going to slide through our new trigger guard and into the gun just like it did before. Once I get it close to being tight, I'm just going to give it a couple whacks just to make sure it's all the way forward. Now it's nice and snug. After you get your trigger group in, we're going to just test it for uh, functionality and make sure everything's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push down on the hammer and pull the trigger. I'm going to hold the trigger and I'm going to let up slowly on the trigger. The hammer should be caught by the hooks of the trigger and trigger guard is complete and we'll just put the rest of the gun back together. Cradle. put my bolt back in. If the bolt head has fallen down, you're just going to push it up and rotate it until it locks in place. I'm going to take my thumb and actually just hold it forward because you it won't be able to go in with the bolt compressed back. Okay? Just push down, forward. The recoil spring is going to go in back of the bolt carrier. Push it all the way in. Bring it into the receiver. It's going to lock right into the receiver. Our dust cover, we're going to take it, slide it into the recess in the front, just push it down. This is what your firearm is going to look like when it's complete. Uh, enjoy your new trigger package.